Okay, I have a mic. How is everybody? I want to share two story songs with you, and um, they're both about pushing boundaries, and a regional writer often looks at landscape and people. So I'm looking right now in my first song at Hazel Braithwaite. Has anybody noticed the statue in front of the old courthouse, Hazel Braithwaite? And she's, uh, she's a pioneer woman of this area, an area outside of Red Deer called Aspenland. And um, she did amazing things. For one, um, she broke through a blockade of men who did not want her to vote when she was legally of age and the vote had just been implemented. Um, she, throughout her life, was an activist, an advocate. In a lot of ways, um, it sounds like the way she lived her life wasn't really searching for meaning, but whatever came her way, she helped that situation, whatever was before her. Um, and I, when I was researching about her, I found a poem that she wrote that's so appropriate for what happened with the uh, ghost st statue. So when she wrote this poem, she was reflecting on her life, and she had done all these amazing things, and she didn't really know that. And she said, I just hope that when my life is over that, that the next generation will really pick up where I left off, that something that I did will matter. So I think that's kind of a cool way to look at our pushing boundaries too, is, is um, we're pushing for the next generation as well.
so when Hazel, when Hazel's statue was first made, they put a pie in her hands and there was actually a public revolt because she's a little bit more than pies, although these days making a pie is a pretty great <laughs> claim to fame. So it was switched out and uh, they put her, li her little self in her hands. So I think that's what's so remarkable about amazing people and um, that can, can uh, just be concerned about doing their best and not being too worried about being um, bigger than that. So my second song is uh, called Yahatinda. Anybody here know where Yahatinda is? You've been there? Spectacular. I had to, this was pushing boundaries for me to go there. It's this side of the Rocky Mountain Range. And uh, it's a little bit challenging to get there. Um, the day I went, we were getting stuck. So first fear is, oh great, there's nobody out here but a lot of animals. And we're probably stuck here for good and probably don't have enough to eat and all those things. And then, and then as I encountered just the, the variety of animals that are out there, and then more fear would come up, like, oh yeah, I'm probably gonna run into a grizzly, so that's also the end of me. But eventually I sort of settled down and realized I was in one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life, and it's easily accessible from here. It's where the Red Deer River headwaters start. So the um, Stony uh, Cree were here almost 10,000 years ago in this sacred place. And uh, so again, pushing the boundary, getting past my own fear, and uh, the sentiment that was left uh, became this song.
Thanks a lot.